Hi and welcome again to another tasting blog, tasting note. Um, so we've got, um, what have we got? We have got Vignetti del Volturi, Aglianico del Volturi, Pipoli uh, label, 2017, so it's quite a mouthful. So Aglianico del Volturi is the Aglianico grape variety. It comes from uh, the slopes of Mount Volturi, which is in Basilicata in South West Spain, Southwest Italy, sorry, Italian of course, uh, 2017 vintage. So Aglianico is one of those sort of indigenous Italian grape varieties which is make, really making a name for itself and starting to be planted a little bit around the world. You'll get a little bit in places like Australia. Um, you'll get sort of other southern Italian wines down there, the Primitivos, Negro Amaros, Nero Davos, you'll start to see those popping up around the world too. But this is where it's best at, this is where it comes from. The Vulture is a volcanic region, so really good soils for natural acidities in the wine. Uh, and the Aglianico and it go hand in glove. So this one here is made by the company Farnese Fini, which is, they have a, quite a few big wineries in around uh, southern Italy. This is not a big winery by any means, but it's one they've picked up over the last little while. And they're putting the same sort of quality influence and emphasis into these wines that they have with everything else. And it really shines through on them particularly. Again, consulted by uh, Albar Alberto Antonini, big sort of powerful wine uh, consultant from Tuscany, who when he puts his hand on anything, it tends to turn it into a bit of gold, I suppose, uh, in wine terms. So uh, any of those wines that we've tasted from throughout Italy or around the world he, that he's had a hand in have always been very appealing, very accessible and yeah, impressive, no doubt. So typically Aglianico tends to be quite full bodied, quite intense wines, quite big tannins. This one here wouldn't be intensely deep colored. Now this is a, probably at a, an entry level point for Aglianico del Volturi. It sells for around 11, 12 pounds a bottle in that bracket at this point in time. Um, medium to fuller bodied, uh, has that sort of slightly garnet edge. Now it sees about 60% uh, aged in oak, I think from memory. Um, and then it sees a little bit of time in bottle before it's released. So it's getting a bit of oak treatment in there. It's all used oak as well, from what I gather. There's no new oak in this. But uh, slightly garnet edge. Sweet red black fruit flavors, sort of. Sweet plums, sweet cherries. Something slightly tarry, I guess. That mineral uh, sort of note to it. Very attractive nose. Slight chocolate tones in the back. Like cocoa powder or something. Hmm. Hmm. Beautiful. That slight sweetness that comes through in the nose, comes through in the palate. Makes you get that sort of sweet touch. Really ripe grapes. Quite a grippy tannin to it as well, so it'll suit with your red meats as well. Drink really nicely by itself. It doesn't have the longest length in the world, but it does linger around a bit. Nice acids in there too. And just an all around nice package, nice finish for what you pay for it. If you like those Southern Italian wines, it's a really good option, I must say. Beautiful wine, and the, the match in this in the white is a particularly popular wine for us, the Fiano Greco. Really attractive floral character, so they make a really nice pair. Um, you're going to have, say, red meats, barbecue, even some sort of like chicken, sort of Asian inspired flavors. Maybe this could work quite well with it, I think. Um, guaranteed to, to, to impress, I think, for the, where you, what you're spending on it. So there you go. Uh, Vignette del Vilture's Aglianico del Vilture under the Papoli label, 2017. Remember, caterinarianwine.com, please reduce spotters. Cheers.